What are we doing back here? On private property. I'm sorry? On private property. This is the bank. I'm just parked up doing some paperwork. It's private, right? right? All right, man. Okay, so I'm, I'm asking you not to be parked back here no more. Don't let me catch you back here again. Hey, everybody. It's James Freeman. For anybody who's ever seen the Direct D channel and seen how many times Mesa police trespass people from other people's property, you're going to love this next guy. His channel is Hold Them Accountable Philadelphia, and he goes around doing script flips on cops. But my favorite one that he consistently does is trespassing cops from private property. Of course, he's not trespassing them even from his property, so he's got no legal, lawful authority or jurisdiction over the property. But keep in mind, the cops that constantly trespass Direct D for recording them in public also don't have authority or jurisdiction over the private property that they trespass from. So essentially, this guy is doing the same things to Philadelphia cops that Mesa cops do to Direct D. The only difference is that if the Philly cops refuse to obey, their life is not in danger. If Direct D refuses to obey, his life is in danger. How you doing today? Can I ask you uh, what we doing back here? On private property. I'm sorry? On private property. This is the bank. I'm just parked up doing some paperwork. It's private, right? All right, man. Okay, so I'm, I'm asking you not to be parked back here no more. Don't let me catch you back here again. You hear what I said? Don't let me catch you back here again. Okay, y'all. Well, we got another one out here. That broad and Godfrey. Hey, how you doing today? Oh, I'm pretty good. How can I help you? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what we're working on. Say it again? What are we working on? What do you mean, what, are you work what am I working on? What are you working on? What am I working on? Yeah. What do I have to be working on? Uh, you should be patrolling the streets and not sitting on private property. That's okay. what you should be doing. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Thank you for that. Okay. All right. Have a nice day. Okay. So, as long as you're here, I'll be here. Drive a shame, baby. Thank you. Don't sit here no more. I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all the same thing over and over. Y'all keep coming. I'm going to keep telling you to move, clown. Some people might say that it's ridiculous that he spends his time doing this to cops, and I would agree. But if you're gonna say that, you better be consistent and recognize that it's silly that cops waste time doing this petty crap as well. The whole point of the script flip is yes, it is silly, it's ridiculous, it's a waste of everyone's time. But you know what? We didn't come up with this stupid script. They did. We just flip it around on him. I'm going to break this one down piece by piece. If you don't want my analysis, just head over to his channel and check out the raw footage right now. Link is in the description and the comments below. Step one, spot suspicious behavior. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Step two, approach suspicious individual. How you doing today? Step three, pretend you give a shit how they're doing. Hey, it's your name and badge number? Step three, I need ID. Say it one more time. Yeah, officer DeGallo. Badge number? 2913. Yeah, what's up? Hey, nothing. I was just wondering uh, what we got going on. Step four, casually start an interrogation. Just waiting for radio calls. Waiting for radio calls? Yeah. On public property or private property? Step five, no matter what he's doing, casually implied that there's a criminal element to what he's doing. In the district of the 35th. Um, on private property, right? Right. You know you're not supposed to be sitting here, right? Step six, try to get your victim to admit to the crime that you're passively accusing him of. Okay, do you work here? You know you're not supposed to be sitting here, right? Be vague and avoid answering questions when your non-existent authority is questioned. Keep the blame on them. Right. You know... Technically, you know, you're trespassing. Okay, so you don't need to be here. Secondly, is that a department issue phone you're on? What are you getting at, man? Um, you're sitting on private property. Oh, what's that? When you see them nervously moving around and reaching for things, ask them more questions in an accusatory manner. You got something in the car I need to know about? Can I see your hands? Can you put your hands where I can see them, please? Your safety is number one. Maintain dominance and try to make them do whatever you want them to do to make you feel good. What are you doing? 
Can you put your hands where I can see them, please? Can, I, can you put your hands where I can see them? Thank you. Now, let me ask, I'm going to ask you a real quick question. You out of here? Huh? Do you need a police report? A police report for what? Yeah. Do you need police service? Uh, uh, no. Do you need anything from me? I just need you to get off private property and not sit here no more. <sighs> All right? Cool? All right, man. Have a good day. All right. All right man. I'm not out here to be a bad guy. You know, I'm just out here to up, making sure you guys uphold the oaths that you take. Right? Being a weirdo. Why? Why? Because I'm doing. Why? Because I'm doing. Because I'm have doing something good, that's not common, day. right? Just watch out. Am I breaking the law? I'm gonna get out of here. Am I breaking the law? Have a good day. Am I breaking the law? Am I breaking the law? Holding you accountable? Am I breaking the law? No. No. Okay. Hey, listen. 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 You be safe and you have a good day. All right. Listen. Ask your buddies. Ask your buddies that work overnight. I do this all the time. I don't want y'all in here on private property. Get out of here. Go do some work. Kick rocks. Go do some work. And go wash that car. It's dirty. As they leave, continue to bark arbitrary orders, asserting your dominance over them all the way until they're completely out of your sight. Some ideas of arbitrary orders that you can give them as they leave is wash your car, cut your hair you look like a scrub, don't beat your wife, don't kick your dog, don't eat yellow snow. Link to this guy's channel is in the description and the comments below. Head over and let him know that James Freeman sent you. Go wash that car, it's dirty.